ましておめでとうございます。今年もよろしくお願いします。It is already 2020 here in Japan and it's the weather has been so weird. So I don't know how to feel. It doesn't feel like winter. It feels it's very, very hot all of a sudden and I don't know. It just doesn't feel appropriate for New Year's. So, like, I kind of can't really get into the spirit of it yet. And on top of that, we were super sick. Like, my whole family and I were insanely sick during Christmas. So, this whole like last two weeks of 2019 have been very, very just weird and hard to like make sense of. So, I'm trying to like reclaim the holiday spirit, the New Year's spirit. We are on our way to my grandparents' house to have some ozoni, which is traditional mochi soup that you eat at the start of the year to help bring in luck and fortune and to like close out the last year. And then we're going to head to our shrine to throw away our old 2019 charms that we used last year and to buy new ones and to pray and yeah, all that good stuff. So these are the charms from last year that we're going to get rid of. And you get rid of them here. And they burn them tonight. They burn them. The cat chewed on this. Sorry. I have so many from last year. And this big one. And we all do it right here. And thank it for protecting us for the year. I know you can't see past these like white tents, but the main shrine house is all the way over there. And all these people are waiting in line to pray. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> We're trying to see if we could get into the inner area to buy some of the charms, but I do not think, yeah, no, this is not happening. Look at that. That's impossible. We can't get in. Okay, we gotta find a different way. So these are a bunch of the charms you can get the really big extravagant ones, these are the super big extravagant ones. Let's see. What shall we get this year? Kore yokatta. Watashi mo suki Akina Ebis san. I got lucky again this year! The biggest lucky! Da -da -da. So it is a lot later in the day. I'm sorry that everything was like really, really hectic, and I'm sorry if it was really difficult to follow because of my inability to explain really well in the moment. But、um, I just wanted to talk about what kind of god my shrine houses and why it's so popular.、Um, so there are seven fortune gods in Japanese Shinto belief, and we house the Ebisu god or the god of merchants. And so everybody likes to come to the shrine and pray for their business and for their like general wealth. And obviously, everybody wants money, so they want their business to do well, so they all come to the shrine. And supposedly, the shrine is 
pretty powerful. Um, I like to believe it is because I grew up with the shrine and it's very like close with my family so I like to really really believe in it and I like to buy all the charms and all the protection talisman and stuff talismans and stuff but yeah apparently a lot of other people believe it too so that's pretty cool and as you saw the line was crazy today so we actually never get to pray on the day of we usually go on like the second or the third when there's like far less people so we'll be coming back again tomorrow maybe getting some of the street food that's out as well because they treat it like an omatsuri and it's really really fun as you saw but yeah I think we're done for the day so I just wanted to show you the types of charms I got this one is specifically for protecting your business and this big big one this gold one here is also about protecting your business they call it shobai hanjo which is the terminology we use for good business and this is like really really extra and it's the same one I got last year but I really liked it and I kind of feel like it worked considering all of the really really fun gigs I got to do last year so yeah hopefully we can repeat that again and hopefully I'll be lucky again and this works yeah this whole kit comes in that like one gold package and this is the picture of the Ibisu god, the same shot I showed you earlier when I was explaining the fortune gods. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And you're supposed to place that one under the actual display. You're not supposed to open this, but I wanted to show you that it comes with a little tiny gold Ibisu song inside as well. Okay, let's pretend I didn't just open that. So this is the main part of the display. It's all made out of paper and these little fish that come at the bottom are called tai because it's a little bit punny. Mede tai means how fortunate. So you want a lot of the sea bream, sea, yeah, I think they're called sea bream, but yeah, they're called tai in Japanese because you want to be mede tai. fluff out the ends a little bit here so that it flows nicely. It doesn't look like exactly perfect, but I also kind of like that about it. And yeah, the tight are supposed to face inwards at the end. So the fortune comes swimming towards you. Everything is like very symbolic. I'm pretty tired, so I think we're just going to relax for the rest of the night. Thank you so much for watching my first video of 2020! If you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section what you did for your New Year's Day. And I will otherwise see you in my next video. Sonja matta ne!